Hi, this is Jim with Valley Box Company, and a common question I get asked is how do I measure my part for packaging? Basically, you're going to have three different dimensions. You're going to have your length, you're going to have your width, and you're going to have your height. Take a look at your product, see what is the furthest point that you have to measure. It's going to be your length. Here you can take a look at your width. Now on this, you see that there's parts that stick out further on the bottom than they do the top. And you're always going to get your farthest dimension. Now because for this example we're using a motorcycle and you can see that it's on its kickstand, you're going to want to put your product in its final shipping position to make sure you're getting the right and accurate dimensions. You're going to measure your highest point. Now if you get to a point that you're at say 40 and a half inches, it's not going to hurt if you go with 41. You're measuring up is not going to be an issue. It's better to have a little bit larger than too small of a crate. I recommend that you write these dimensions down and don't be afraid to go and take a couple measurements just to verify that you're correct. Another important thing you'll need to know is the weight of your product for two reasons. One is for shipping. They'll need to know how much the product weighs to give you a quote. And it'll also help us determine what type of box you'll need. Some of the frequent questions you might get asked are industry terms such as OD and ID. And that stands for outer dimension and your ID stands for interior dimensions. Now when you're measuring your product, you're going to give us your interior dimensions so we can build a box correctly around that product. Whereas if you're using it for shipping reasons, they'll need to know your OD so they can take into account how much room they'll need for your product. Now the measurements we took for this bike would be considered your interior dimension or your ID. So just a couple things to recap what we learned. You always want to take your dimensions, your length, your width, and your height. Always write them down and don't be afraid to measure twice. If your measurement comes in between a solid inch, don't be afraid to round up. It's always better to have a little bit more room than not enough. Always know the weight of your product. It'll give us the ability to design your package correctly. And it'll also give the freight company the information they'll need to know to give you a quote. We learned a little industry lingo that OD is your outer dimension and ID is your interior dimension. Once again, this is Jim Becker for Valley Box Company, your packaging experts.